Getting your child to eat healthy and nutritious foods can be hard. Doubly so if you have a picky eater on your hands. Add in an abnormal desire to consume non-nutritive substances and you'll feel like pulling your hair out. But stress no more. Today, I have a quick, simple drywall recipe that kids with pica will absolutely love. We want to start with toasting the gypsum in a large pan. This brings out the chalky flavor of the calcium sulfate dihydrate and helps draw some of the water out. A dry gypsum is a happy gypsum. Heat helps refine the calcium sulfate from a dihydrate to a hemihydrate. That crystallization process is going to give you an extra kick of yummy goodness that will have your little pica sufferer begging for seconds. Once your gypsum is nice and toasted, add it to the mixing bowl along with shredded paper, anti-foaming agent, a bit of starch, fungicide, and your plasticizer. Remember to set aside about two tablespoons of plasticizer for the glaze. Once you've mixed your wet and dry ingredients into a nice clumpy consistency, add in a whole cup of ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Now, you can get ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid from any specialty chemical supplier, but I prefer Sigma Aldrich. They offer it in either powder form or already in solution, which is what I use for this recipe. Yes, it's a bit of a shortcut, but your substrates loving kiddos won't be able to taste the difference. What I just love about this drywall recipe is you don't have to need the slurry. Just scoop it straight into a muffin tin that's been greased with industrial strength lubricant. Bake them until you can hammer a nail through the center. Once your stucco bites are cooling and you've glazed them with the plasticizer you set aside earlier, this is when you can have a bit of fun with the toppings. I like to sprinkle paint chips over the bites for a fun splash of color, but if you really want to go wild, make a toppings bar so your little ones can customize their drywall treats. Buy bite-sized nails and screws, or grind a soft mineral-like lime or titanite into dust to cover the bites with. Or simply go to your backyard and grab a clumpful of dirt and voila, let the wee ones go to town. Your kids may not be eating real food, but at least they'll be gnawing on something delicious and having a good time while doing it. For The Onion, I'm Jillian Hess.